I'm Brian Westbrook at AWS reInvent 2024. We are here with GeekWire Studios, sponsored by Capital One, and joined now by the Vice President of Software Engineering at Capital One, Ann Johnston. Thank you so much for joining us. Great to be here. Now, we want to get right into it. What are you showcasing at this year's reInvent? Yeah, at this year's reInvent, our theme is Cloud Forward, Data Powered, AI Ascended. Okay. What that means to us is, for Cloud Forward, we're not just migrating to the cloud, you know, we're thriving in the cloud. For Data Powered, our company was founded on data, sure. and a well-managed data governance program is the foundation for how we power our AI. We're doing great things in AI from developer experience all the way through serving our, our customers through agents. Um, so we're super excited to be here. We're showcasing a number of different products. We're talking about our AI, of course. We're also talking about our data management. We're talking about architecture. We're talking about cost management, all those great things. I was at the booth a little bit earlier and there is an amazing display of cards being built. Oh my God. Absolutely incredible. And I saw it yesterday and I thought, oh, that's great, nice display. But I'm told it's being built over time. All week long. And so he's building it day over day. Sure. And the big display is going to be on Thursday at one o'clock. That is when it all comes down. And it's kind of like a, hopefully not with a, with a different ending, but it's kind of like a, a customer's cloud AI journey is building it over time. How have you found that Capital One has built their cloud, in your cloud transformation, your AI transformation over time? What has that journey been like? So our transformation actually started back in 2014. And we took a two-pronged approach to that. First, people, and then also technology. The people aspect of that is so important because you need to have the skills in order to build. So today, we have about 14,000 engineers at Capital One, and their training is really important. So getting up to speed on AWS, latest coding practices, and maintaining that over time, which is actually what is powering our technology transformation through innovation and, and continued advancements in technology. Exciting stuff, and we've been, had the privilege of watching Capital One grow over just even the past few years. What is next? What's on the horizon? And as we sit here today, what are we going to be talking about tomorrow? What are we talking about next year? Oh gosh. Um, well, I wish I had a crystal ball to know that, but <laughs> right there in front of me, know all the answers. Uh, but I think what we're going to do next year is probably continue to talk about our AI, continue to talk about how we are thriving on the cloud and actually using the latest of the cloud's innovations to take away some of the, the work that our engineers are having to do today, like not moving up the stack, if you will, so that we're not focused so much on the bare, bare metal, if you will, but we're actually talking about taking advantage of the things at the top of the stack, the managed services, those types of things that we build products on top of. It's exciting to think about a developer's journey and sort of weaving AI into that, not only helping your developers be more efficient, but helping them get to that end goal sooner and faster. But there are many people that are watching, and I'm going to take away the obvious answer in just a moment. There are many people that are watching that are thinking, how do I get started? And I want to talk, to, I want to ask you, what advice would you have someone starting out in cloud innovation and I'm going to take away the obvious answer, which is show up at AWS reInvent. Oh, yeah. That one, we'll give you that one. Got it. Okay. What would you recommend to starting their, someone starting their cloud journey? Think about your customer mm -hmm. and work backwards from your customer. When you're thinking about innovation, the innovation is only as good as your customers are going to use it. It's not for innovation for the sake of it. So think about the customer. Also think about the talent that you have that's building that innovation. If you don't have the talent, you're going to have a hard time. So think about not just the talent you need today, but what is that talent going to get you in the future? So uh, put together a really good people strategy that can power your innovation for tomorrow. So really you recommend starting with the people first, build the team, not only with the customers, but also with the engineers, developers, and, and staff that it takes to make this happen and to pull that forward. Give me an example, if you would, and I know I'm putting you on the spot here, give me an example of where that people first approach has really paid off in the long run. Diversity. Okay. So if you think about our customers, they are diverse. 
They they come from all parts of the, the country, have different experiences, have just come from different different walks of life, if you will. When we think about the associates that we bring in, one is super important that we have the technology skills in order to deliver, but also it's really important to us that it's a diverse workforce that actually mirrors our customer base so that multiple points of view can be considered and ultimately that builds a better product for our customers. And I think we've seen many examples of where diversity is important. You have 100 million customers, so being able to represent as many of those as possible in the technology solutions that you're building is absolutely incredible. Well, Ann Johnston, Vice President of Software Engineering, thank you so much for joining us here at AWS reInvent. I'm Brian Westbrook with GeekWire Studios. Thanks for watching.